So all that to say, when I come here, back to Canada, I get very nostalgic to eat all of the things that I used to love or all of the things that used to be like comfort foods, you know? Grape soda <laughs> was always my favorite. I have my counseling on the 18th. I actually looking forward to talking to someone about my feelings about what's going on. With everything, you know, there's been so much that's happened in my life since the last time I ever had therapy, which I think was like a while ago. Anyway. And yeah, I do hate it. Because I don't like talking about these things, really. But I'm gonna do it. Definitely will have leftovers. So I'm not sure when I'm leaving. I'm not even sure what I'm doing with my life, but I'm just taking it day by day for now. Um, I'm getting very worried about the situation in the Middle East, honestly. I know I don't typically talk about politics on my channel, but like, I'm legit worried about like, like I, there's like Iran has now struck Israel and it's like in retaliation for their embassy being bombed or, you know, I just, I think that's what happened. So things are getting bad over there. You know, and I just worry, obviously. I just want to say, like, a genuine I'm sorry for, like, if I was ever mean to you. Because I've lashed out at viewers. I've been pretty nasty. I've said some mean things. Even if it's out of anger, self-defense, whatever. You know, I really don't like being that way and hurting other people. So, if I hurt you, if I'm responsible for that or offending you... I apologize like truly I do and that just includes everybody and I'm sorry you know for things I've said um, recently or during Cuba rage I hated my existence back then you know but it's no excuse I have to be careful about how I treat people how how I talk to people you know that's the only thing I can control Losing my channel for a week, like getting a strike for my behavior towards another person was eye-opening for me because I was like, but I was responding to somebody hating on me and it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. That sounds so juvenile. Like, I do need to grow up in that way. I need to accept that. I can't stop. I'm on the internet. I can't stop people from hating on me. No, not everyone's going to like me, you know, and people are going to call me names or whatever and just point you know, point things out about me, whatever. They're going to criticize me. And, you know, I look like crap going back and, and, you know, raging against something that I don't like and doing the same thing, you know, calling someone names or whatever. So it was, it was eye-opening for me, honestly, about my own behavior. And I don't like myself that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, like, a genuine, I'm sorry for, like, if I was ever mean to you. Because I've lashed out at viewers. I've been pretty nasty. I've said some mean things. Even if it's out of anger, self-defense, whatever. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate her for taking him away from me. And yeah, I hate him for all the shit he's put me through. But a part of me still loves him. And if you fucking hate me for that, I don't give a fuck. BBJ is gone, rest in peace. And I have Julia now, so whatever. BBJ, you're not going in the suitcase, you're going in a cardboard box. Cardboard box? It's probably a bag, Zeta. I think pets get uh, buried in bags. Deal with it. Death is a thing. 
No, I'm rehoming my cats to a wood chipper. Okay. There's three little black bastards running around the room. <laughs> Be a sweet as pie tomorrow? Oh, you know it. You know I'm gonna manipulate the fuck out of you. And you're gonna eat it up and you're gonna watch me. <laughs> he had, like, what, four black guys living in the house and, like, and he had four black guys living with his wife in the same room. They have a small apartment. There was, like, just a partition. Disgusting. Disgusting dogs. Hanzi, Shakmuta, goodbye. He's living with three black guys. <laughs> yeah. The wife is getting spit roasted. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter that they're black. I'm just saying, <laughs> just for the sake of it, I guess. Like, ew. It is not the first time that someone has been completely racist towards me on this platform. This is just the first time that people, a lot of people, even outside of this space, are finally taking notice. No way. Yeah, I, technically you're right. I understand they're wanting to be inclusive and everything. And, you know, but the thing is, is like, it's not snow beige, it's snow white. <laughs> So I realize Chantel has also gone live today and I have not had time to catch up on those, but I will and I will be doing a video on those tomorrow. So what do you guys think about her apology? Do you believe her? Um, I know a lot of us <laughs> are just going to laugh at that because her apology means nothing. It's just another manipulation tactics because her views are down and her money is low. So a lot of people have been talking about how the next two paychecks for her are going to be hitting her hard. She's going to be losing some money and I really think she's trying to win people over but it's just backfiring on her from what I can tell. It's not going anywhere good. I did also see that during her life today she had a little bit of a nip slip situation. Ma'am that's pretty uh you know, so girl, you should be a little bit more careful with that. But um, really, you guys, one of the main things that I wanted to talk about really quick before I ended this video was the fact that she chose kind of out of nowhere to have this therapy session. If it's real, she hasn't really specified why she's having it. She's left that extremely vague. Um, that leads me to believe that it's about the Sala cheating you know, shenanigans. Um, I think that maybe she's going to finally address that because her saying that she wants to talk about this means she feels like she needs to get something off her chest. So I think there's trouble in paradise between her and Salah. I think if she does actually go to this therapy appointment, that's why she's going. It has nothing to do with anything else in her life. Trust and believe the only reason she would go would be like a last ditch effort to save a broken fake relationship, which we all know is you know, the one she has with her husband. So I'd love to hear your guys' theories down below. I feel like there's a lot that she's leaving out. She's not mentioning Salah too much, just kind of like the bare minimum amount. And for everything going on, you would think he would be the first thing she would be mentioning. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.